Ooh, curly mohawk. Um, hopefully this will be on the shorter side. Um, I haven't been feeling really well. Um, this cycle's not been as rough as others, but I think I have I have a virus that I caught last weekend, so I'm just a little slower than usual. Um, let's see. I had a doctor's appointment yesterday with um, with an orthopedist that focuses specifically on hands. He's like a hand surgeon. Um, I've been having trouble with my the the knuckle, I guess, the joint on my left index finger. I think I dislocated it and popped it back in and didn't think about it. Because um, I dislocated my shoulder twice and ended up having to have surgery on it. And my feet pop, my toes pop out of joint all the time. It's kind of just something I've gotten used to. Because um, I used to do so much wear and tear on those joints, especially my fingers and my hands, that I just don't think about it. Um, and that's probably how I did all the damage to my shoulder. Because um, once the surgeon got in, that he was fixing the um, the actual like space that the joint lives in. And ended up having to repair my rotator cuff. Because I tore the hell out of that. So I, I was pretty rough on my joints before. But the Lyme, the Lyme does a lot of damage on its own just to joints. Um, my hands are constantly swollen. My knees are swollen. My ankles are swollen. Shoulders are swollen. All my my elbows swell sometimes. It's just kind of weird, but it happens. And uh, so I saw this guy because I'd seen my regular doctor, and they X-rayed it, and it was in. But they wanted me to see somebody because I was having kind of this recurring pain. Is it, it would heal for like three days, and then it would come back worse. And I was hoping that it would stop, and I could cancel this appointment with the hand doctor, but I couldn't. It came back. I guess last week, and it was the worst it, is, it has been, and, um, my hands are swollen, but that joint was two times as big as the rest of my hand, and it was purple and blue, and, um, we don't know what's happening to it exactly. It hap it seems that it hurts when I wake up. I, we, I think something's happening to it in my sleep, but we're not sure. We haven't been able to pinpoint it. So, he saw this guy, and comes in the room and he does this thing that freaks me out because a lot of doctors do it he starts looking over my medicine list and he goes how old are you and i tell him and he's like this is not a medication list for somebody your age you're on you know morphine and fentanyl and and blood thinners and so i go into the whole lime thing and i i, I try not to get defensive because i found it in the past getting defensive is is not helpful, even though I do feel very nervous in those situations because doctors have a lot of power and um, they can put a lot of things in your chart that can cause you a lot of trouble in the future. Um, so um, I tried to explain and um, be really clear as to, you know, I see one doctor who does everything. He is in charge of pain control, seizure management. And he's in charge of making sure my pick line stays in, you know, top functioning, you know, order. And, um, and Jackie was there. And we were both, I could tell, just looking at her, you know, we were both really skeptical about this guy. And, um, he started asking me some questions and kind of ascertained. He, he, he I think he asked, so this has affected your brain because you have seizures? And I said, yes. I don't know how much you believe that, but um, a lot of doctors can believe it affects your joints, but not necessarily your brain. So I think he was a little puzzled because I'm probably the first person he's ever come into contact with who had um, Lyme disease that affected their joints as well as their brain, who was so young. So I'm sure I was a really, really surprising kind of thing to walk in on on a Thursday morning. So... Um, He's like, well, it, it can affect your joints, and this this could have something to do with what's going on, because I I sprained. If you go way back in my videos, you'll see my my left foot is in a cast. I had a really bad sprain on my left ankle. Uh, my left shoulder is the one that got all the damage that had that had to have surgery. And this is now my left hand that is bothering me. It's it seems my joint pain is bilateral, but 
As far as injury, I seem to consistently damage the left side of my body, which is really interesting. So he decides to do an x-ray. We do the x-ray. Maybe I'll insert it in. And um, it's kind of funny because the x-ray comes back and it has this kind of this block on it. And he... So these, this block that's on the right side of the, uh, the x-ray, um, when I go back with the x-ray technician to get the x-ray done and I'm laying my hand down and all this stuff and um, she goes, I'll need you to take your ring off. And my fingers are so swollen I cannot get my ring off of my finger. And, um, so when the x-ray comes back, it has this block on it, and, and Jackie thought it was a sensor block, and, um, no, I just couldn't get my ring off, so that was kind of fun. So I had two options, one was to get cortisone shots in that specific joint, which the smaller the joint is, the more painful it is, and I've had shots before in my, in my back for my shoulders. Shh, be quiet, phone. Sorry, my phone is talking. Again, I guess whoever was blocking their number decided to leave me a message. Um, they get cortisone injections directly into this little teeny, teeny, tiny joint, which, from my experience, would be hellacious and painful. Or to have a custom splint made. Um, it's over there. I, I, I took that option. Um, he's pretty cool. He hates phones, this doctor. And he's like, if you get in pain, I'm going to give you my email address. If you're okay with email, you can email me. I had a guy... Um, this morning, emailed me. He went home and he said, "Hey, doc, you know this is three days later. It's getting worse, and I'm and I'm gonna fit him in at three o'clock this afternoon." I was like, "Holy shit! I really like this doctor." And so he's like, "I'll give you my email, and if something changes, you want to do the shots, because I can't really give you an anti-inflammatory because you're on Coumadin, and being on Coumadin, it affects your liver, and um, going on a." An anti-inflammatory can make that liver have a really, really hard time with things. So I tried to give him the benefit of the doubt, and I'm, and I'm glad that I did. He wasn't recommended as a Lyme literate physician, but um, I hope that having seen me, maybe he will go and look more into it. Um, because if I have any issues in the future, I will likely go to his practice if I have any orthopedic issues. Um, because the doctor I saw before that did the surgery on my shoulder and dealt with my foot was really terrible with the whole Lyme disease thing. So, yeah. So that's what's been going on. Um, my mom's in Las Vegas this weekend with my aunt, um, her sister, celebrating her 50th birthday. So that's kind of what's going on. Um, yeah, I go see the wizard next Tuesday. Um... We'll see what he's got in store. Probably more um, cycles of that really nasty stuff that makes me really sick. Um, and I'm hanging in. I'm having some seizures and a lot of trouble keeping food down. But I'm, I'm okay. Um, I'm having a hard time with the depression right now. But it's part of this, this whole monster. So I promised this would be short and I lied as always. You guys take care. And um, I'll see you later.